Hey guys, I have been using a cream and last night I used it, had no problem, so I put it on to, again in the morning. Something happened and I pray in Jesus' name that this will just wipe right off. So I put the cream on here. I started with a dot here and I spread it around and I moved it all over because I believe I may have an infection in my gums where I used to have a root canal right in here. So, um, yeah, we just claim the blood of Jesus. I am in submission to my husband. My husband wants me to have a beautiful face that is not discolored. I want to be attractive to him. So I, um, first of all, I am warning people to a maybe not use this cream on your face b if you're going to use this cream use it at night and then use a lot of sun protection i have not spent a lot of time outside in the sun today but i did like walk back and forth to my car and that kind of thing so first i'm going to look for some cotton rounds and When I looked in the mirror, I thought, wow, I look really tan. And then as I looked closer, I was like, oh, that's actually, come on, focus camera, just a moment. That's actually, so like you can see, like I rubbed it like this. And here we have my natural skin tone and there we have something darker. Look at that on the cotton round. When I put this cream on, it was white, and it appeared that as I rubbed it around my face, it initially looked clear, but it is turning brown. So I have, thank you Jesus, first of all, because the color appears to be coming off, so that's fantastic. Now I have a lot of questions. What is this brown color? Maybe I can walk you guys through the ingredients. Um, maybe I'll edit that into the same video. Comment down below if you want a deep dive into the ingredients, maybe even some research on the ingredients in another video. Wow. So it's like one concept could be that the ingredients oxidized. So a lot of people might be asking, Heather, is that just your foundation or your bronzer? But I've not used foundation or bronzer in months, and I've been doing a lot of cleansing, moisturizing, and exfoliating for my face. What's interesting is like over here we have a lighter tan, and over here we have a darker tan. So some people I know, for example, you know, charcoal masks are designed to suck the impurities out of your face. Um, so I'm wondering if this is, you know, kind of sucking the dirt out of my face and bring it to the surface, um, kind of like cleansing my pores. Another theory could be that this is my own melanin and that this is actually lightening my skin and bringing the melanin out of my skin and on top of the cream. <laughs> I, um... So some foundations will oxidize where you put them on your face and then when they combine with oxygen, then they will actually change color. Much like when you bite into an apple, if you leave that apple out on the countertop for a while, you'll notice that it turns brown. So it could just be the cream itself oxidizing. Now I put this on today in the morning. Yesterday I put it on at night, um, or maybe two days ago I put it on at night, and then I washed my face in the morning. So I washed the cream off completely. It's possible that it also oxidized during the night. Um, wow, that's just like so much. Hmm. And maybe since I, you know, took a shower that morning right away and washed my face really well, and I hadn't put my glasses on yet, so I might not have even realized it. And my skin is so shiny that it's reflecting <laughs> the shine from my stickers. It's only showing up. Oh, no, it is doing that in person. Okay, for a minute, I was going to say it's only showing up in person. It's not doing that in real life or only showing up on camera. But no, it's, it's happening in both places, both realities. 
<sighs> I'm curious, do you guys think that, like, if somebody on social media edits their photos and everything, you know, people will be like, oh, that's not reality, or people will say Instagram versus reality. Someone opened my mind the other day when they said, I'm just so happy this is coming off. Thank you, Jesus, for answering my prayers. My skin looks... My pores look like they have more darkness in them. Like, you can see my pores more than before, maybe. Yeah. This is so weird. <laughs> oh, dear. I did go to the doctor to get some legit antibiotics, but I just thought, before I start taking those, I wanted to try something, you know, natural. Wanted to tackle this from a natural angle and a typical Western medicinal angle, I guess. Um, so, okay, going back to this question about reality. When people say Instagram versus reality, somebody said, what somebody posts on Instagram, that is a reality. It's a different reality than being face-to-face -face in person with them and seeing what they look like in real life. But the truth is, the reality you create on Instagram it can make you online friends, it can make you money, um, it can make you feel validated, and a lot of the objectives that we achieve in our real life, like face-to-face -face place, we achieve those same objectives online. Now, whether or not those are, you know, ethical or unethical or deserved or less deserved, is up for debate but um you know if you have a photoshopper who works really hard and gets paid really well and then you have a model who works really hard and gets paid really well and then you have this third woman who she is modeling for herself for her own business and she is photoshopping her own pictures for her own business and she gets paid really well is that third person like less deserving of the money or I don't know, but I really love the people who will post a bit of both. I try really hard to post, you know, a bit of both. I think seeing the side by side is always fun. Um, and to be honest, I do think that there might be a day where, um, <laughs> if I want to make big money on social media, I might have to show up looking more put together, more beautiful, more professional, um, because psychologically speaking, people really like seeing beautiful things, whether it's just shutting my closet door before I start filming or repainting all of this white or, you know, um, curling my hair or like, it doesn't have to be making things fake. Um, but I've always liked fake. I've always thought fake was so pretty. <laughs> like, I really like the like all done up I'm not calling anyone fake, by the way, who always has their hair and makeup done and has a bunch of cosmetic procedures and uses a ton of fillers and filters and everything because I've just always loved that look my whole life and I don't think I'll ever stop loving it. Okay, so now that that's done, I put a probiotic lotion up here and I really didn't want this antibiotic um, it, by the way, I think it's actually an antibacterial, um, and some things that are antibacterial are in fact not antibiotic. So, um, there, I believe there's like a Neosporin antibiotic cream, and I might get that and put it on my face as well. Um, but I don't know if this infection is bacterial or what. So, I just, look at that. There's no color. So, just for giggles, I'm wiping this. Like, I might as well wash most of my face. I'm not going to wash the portion of my face with the stickers underneath. I'm going to wash that later tonight. Yeah. So that is proof because I put the one lotion here, the other lotion here. So that's proof that it was in fact the lotion and that, I don't know, my skin isn't shedding its color. <laughs> Can you imagine that if like at the end of summer, your skin just spit out its tan? Like, I'm done. Well, God bless you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if you guys have any prayer requests or if you've ever put something on your face and had a negative experience, I would love to hear about that. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I think that'll be it for this video because it's already 10 minutes long. Love you. Bye.